Welcome back to Real Estate Genius. I'm Andy. That's Terry right above me. And this Hello is- Hello, you. <laughs> Every time. This is the monthly show where we make you, the viewer, a real estate genius on the real estate market in the Indianapolis area. Brother, are we the geniuses? They're the geniuses, brother. They we are. make them a genius. And that's all the more important going into the holiday season. You're going to be seeing that obnoxious uncle who thinks he knows what he's talking about. Yep. So now is as critical a time uh, as, as possible for you. To it is. Be it is. Think about your company Christmas parties. Like you want to be the guy that knows what's going on in Indianapolis real estate. So That's we're right. here for you. That's right. We are here for you. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, brother. All right. What is it? You are once again participating in No Shave November. Oh, I, I am. Yes. How how many years have you done this and why do you participate every year? Is it just for funsies just to be like, hey, let's grow down or is there a reason or what, what, where did it come from? Tell me uh, more about this. No. Yeah. This is not an every year thing. I don't. Oh, I okay. Don't it doesn't feel awesome. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, you basically put yourself through the worst part of growing a beard and then it's over, right? And then just get rid of it because I'm done with it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's probably not the way to go, but uh, my family loves it. I don't. Uh, my oldest son said him and from some friends were participating this year and asked me if I was in and I'm like, well, I kind of have to be if you're inviting me to be in. So I know. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we're all going for it together. And then, um, and then obviously it's the cause is important to men's health. Um, sure. you know, some of the, the men's cancers that are prominent, um, the older we get. So, um, doing some donation to that cause as well as a part of this. So it's just, a, it's just a fun thing and I'm supporting a good cause too. And I noticed you do like trim around the neckline though, right? You do yep. shows. I think it shows that you are committed to hygiene, but I also wonder, is that cheating? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be like, I don't know, scratch your neck. That would be and Andrew Luck neck beard, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this, because this has been a hot topic around our family, and it seems to be this time of year, usually right after Halloween. The question is, do you decorate early for Christmas? Now, I know where you stand on this, brother, and yes. I know where I stand on this, and we have been staunchly anti-decorating for Christmas early. Yep. Right? We are, yeah. We're a, uh, a Black Friday or after. Yes. Um, Christmas yeah. decoration. The, and I, the holiday season does not start until after Thanksgiving Day. I think, well, I disagree. I think the holiday season is here. It starts with Halloween, but the well, Christmas yeah. season. I'm thinking the Christmas holiday season. I know, Roger that. Um, I agree with you, and that's how we have practiced. I think if you didn't like Thanksgiving, it would be if you like kind of gloss over Thanksgiving as a family and you don't really super care then extend the Christmas season and you kind of have your little Thanksgiving day and move on back mm -hmm. to Christmas. But because you and I treasure Thanksgiving day, we yes. love it. Uh, I think we we don't like decorating for Christmas. And I will say, I always feel like it feels fake. It feels like not yet really Christmas, but we're pretending uh -huh. and then dilutes it when it's actually Christmas season. That's been my main argument. Respond yep. to this though, brother. I have seen studies lots now that say people who decorate for Christmas before Thanksgiving are happier. Your thoughts, mm. your thoughts. I mean, it's my favorite holiday of the year. I think it's yours too. And most people yes. I would probably agree. So um, I will, I'll probably confirm that. I bet that's true. So then the least of my final question around this brother, would, would you ever, and this is my kids don't want to decorate early, which surprised me, but it's true. Um, my wife, Amy does want to decorate early. And so we were with some friends last weekend and they said, why not do a trial run some year? Like just see, huh. you know, cause I've always speculated it would dilute the joy of Thanksgiving of, of Christmas if it's too early. Yeah. Said, you don't know that though. Like you should maybe try and see how it feels. And so now I'm scratching my no shave November uh, beard, which I'm not participating in. Yes. Um, but I'm scratching my chinny chin chin saying, is it worth a trial run some year? I don't necessarily think this is the year, but is it worth it to think about? Would you ever do a trial run and see? I think if the family was on board, I probably would. Gotcha that. Okay. We actually, so Amy, Amy was pushing for the big trial run and the kids, all three were like, no, no, no. So we're not trial really? running here. Yeah. So okay. are um, they, uh, is it because they love Thanksgiving season two or they just want, or is it just uh, your wise parenting that has raised them I, I properly? Think, 
I think it's more about my brainwashing as a father that they think, yeah, you're right, Dad, it will feel a little fake if we do it too soon, and then it might not be as special when it's actually time. So I think maybe that just that, yeah. Yeah. But between okay. you and me, bring it in, brother, yeah. Between you and me, I could see us some year doing a little trial run. Okay. Should we coordinate our trial runs? That's so we a great can talk idea. about it. And then we can talk about it. We should coordinate our trial runs. That's a great idea, brother. We could analyze it together and with our families. I'm gonna mark that down, brother. That's good stuff. Yep. I like it. Yep. All right. Oh, okay. That was good stuff. Well, that's it for today. Uh, great oh, real no, 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 brother, 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 brother. We, I, listen, if, uh, we said time permitting, we'd get to the stats. Like, let's get to the stats. We'll just, we'll go over today. It'll be fine. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's make you a genius about the local housing market. Overall home sales down three and a half percent compared to last year. This is just the ebbs and flows of months and how things go from time to time. We also do see typically, obviously we've been leading up to this presidential election. A oh, lot yes. of times we'll have a small amount of people that will stay out of the market and be in wait and C mode kind of throughout the third or fourth quarter. All that yep. business then comes back. Uh, all those sales come back uh, typically in the first quarter of the next year. So that could be a little bit of a reflection of the fact that we're in an election cycle um, mm -hmm. or it could just be, you know, the, the micro statistic when we look at the overall picture. Nothing to be concerned about, nothing to be alarmed about um, as we continue on. Uh, overall, we think we're going to end uh, this year with more home sales than last year by a couple of percentage points. So there's that. That's right. Uh, the median sales price was two ninety five, and that was really no change over a year ago. Um, so even with um, some of these numbers playing out the way they are, home values are staying strong here in central Indiana. So that's great to see. That's right. Yeah. And the prediction for that is that will continue. We've got more information coming out in the coming weeks as we kind of we look do. at it what's coming in the 2025 housing market. We're gonna talk about home prices for sure, but yes. spoiler alert, we think it's gonna to continue to have what I would call healthy appreciation as yes. opposed to insane, crazy jumps. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we All like right. when it's healthy. <laughs> we do, we always like a healthy and that's it housing market. It's a good thing. Yes. Yes. Overall inventory is up 2.2% compared to a year ago. We kind of knew that that was the trend. There are a few more homes on the market than in the past uh, and homes are sitting a little bit longer, which Andy will tell you about in just a second. But overall uh, inventory up just a little bit. That kind of correlates with a little bit of a slower market compared to what we saw a couple of years ago, right? So again, mm -hmm. not concerned about that. It's actually good news for buyers. But like Andy said, with home prices still being strong, that's not bad news for sellers either. So it. It's all good, as we like to say at the Wagoner family. That's what we like to say. Uh, the average days on market is up slightly over a year ago. It is now at uh, three weeks. Uh, I think that's a 16% slower uh, than a year ago. Yep. Um, so buyers, again, there's a few more houses available right now and they're sitting a little bit longer. So um, there's time to get out there and do some shopping and take a minute to think about what you want to do before acting as well. That's right. One more thing I wanted to touch on, brother, um, and I just well, I did that a live training this week about getting your house ready for the market. And one of the yep. questions that comes up a lot of times when we talk this time of year, specifically with home sellers, is do I list my house now or do I wait until after the holidays? Do I wait till the spring uh, and all that? How when you get that question, because I'm sure you do as well. What's mm -hmm. your response around what home sellers do over the holidays? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I'll, I always say. Um, you know, things do slow down at Thanksgiving and after um, through the new year. Mm -hmm. um, do we buy and sell homes during that time? Of course. Um, so I tell people if you need to move during that time or the very perfect house comes up for you during that time, then yeah, list your home and um, and plans make plans to make that move. Otherwise, yep. we, we if you're trying to, I don't know, want to say time the market, but if you can hold off till like after Super Bowl Sunday or even like March 1st, then yep. that's a much better time with way more buyers in the market um, for for you to list um, if you can hold off for just a few months. Yeah, that's exactly, you nailed it. That's exactly what I, I agree with all that. Um, it used to be more of a list in the spring and wait till it warms up and then get it done by school. That's not really the case anymore. Everything you just said, yeah. I totally agree with. Basically, uh, Thanksgiving, until the Super Bowl. If you can avoid it, if you can't, you'll be fine still. But if you can, it's always good to hold off, um, I think, starting around then. So hopefully yeah, that helps. <clears throat> that's right. That's right. Yep. So that's a look back at um, October 2024 um, for Real Estate Genius. We'll be back next month with the November stats to 
keep you informed for that holiday party.